The Middle Paleolithic is a desert, even for most archaeologists, let alone Joe Public. But there's even less to see if we go back further to the Lower Paleolithic, which was all over by about 200,000 years ago and started a couple of million years before that. But sometimes archaeologists do find things that throw the whole thing wide open. For example, when they find something from this earliest period of the Old Stone Age that's not made of stone, but made of wood. It's very rare to find wooden artefacts from so long ago still preserved. So, in 1994, when Hartmut Thiemer, an archaeologist working at a site near the old east-west German border, found the first of seven spears, it was big news in the archaeological world. At 400,000 years, they are 10 times as old as the so-called human revolution. And what is even more astonishing about them is that they represent incredible skill and knowledge. The spears are tapered and deliberately weighted toward the front third of the shaft, just like modern day Olympic javelins. This precocious knowledge of aerodynamics shows that the spears were hardly the handiwork of a subhuman intelligence. One can only speculate about the other technical skills that the people of this remote time possessed. One of the best kept secrets of the Stone Age is that it wasn't really the Stone Age at all. This is just a convenient name that archaeologists have given it because stone tools are pretty much all that survives. But when things like the spears from Schoenigen were found, it makes you realise the skill that went into the making of wooden artefacts. We could have called it the Wood Age. And this Wood Age, deep in the Lower Paleolithic as early as one million years ago, was the time of an even earlier human species, the common ancestor of Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, and the craftsmen who fashioned the Schoenigen spears. This is Homo erectus, the first human to leave the African homeland about one million years ago and to colonize the more temperate zones of Asia and Europe. The impulse to colonize is the concrete expression of the human instinct to look beyond one's immediate environment and to explore the unknown. If our more immediate ancestors have been dismissed as brutish and animalistic, it is not surprising that Homo erectus is generally viewed as barely superior to the apes. Yet to colonize, to move over thousands of miles, requires communication, forward planning, navigation skills, knowing when to travel. They were capable of walking great distances, but in this wood age, they didn't only seek new lands on foot, but also by boat. Once you accept that the skills we see applied to stone artifacts and tools would also have been applied to wood, then the possibilities for our old Stone Age ancestors are endless. For example, one thing that wood can do that stone can't is float. For people living by the sea, this is an observation which turned our lower Paleolithic ancestors into the first boat builders.